bring no rain Let that thunder shock the pain Wash away y'all, what's to pray for? If there's nothing left to blame, put that Yo, hello, it's Revy here And in today's video I will be showing you guys How to make the 3D outlined text animation You guys saw in the beginning And if you guys want to support me, I have a website Feel free to check that out I have some editing packs there that could benefit you in your editing And make it much easier and yeah, let's get uh, right into this tutorial here. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my composition settings. I'm using FHD with uh, 24 FPS here and my composition is five seconds long. We're going to start off by making a text here. Bam, I'm going to just type text, align it. And when you're done with your adjustments here and to make your text outlined here, you press this uh, arrow here. But yeah, so when you're done, with your text here you're going to be opening the text up here go to text and then press here on animate all transform properties and here we're going to work here a little bit in animator one and we're going to start off by setting the scale in the beginning to zero keyframe that the rotation is going to be minus 90 keyframe that that as well and go to two seconds and here set the scale to 100 percent and the rotation to zero so this is how the text looks now and now we're going to mark the keyframes, press F9, and you're go going to open up the graph here on scale. And it looks something like this here. And you're going to drag this one up like that, so it becomes fast in the beginning. And you're going to do the same thing with the rotation here. Open up the graph, drag this one up, just like that. So this is how your text looks now, pretty clean. And then we're going to be adding an effect called CC Lens to this. Now I had to adjust the text a little bit again and it looks something like this now. This is the lens uh, settings here you're going to be using. And after that, you're going to be pressing the motion blur button here. And then you're going to make four copies of this text here. So one, two, three, four, set them all in the order. And here you're going to be delaying the layers by four frames each. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and drag this one here. And from here, one, two, three, four, this one there, one, two, Three, four. Set this one there. One, two, three, four. Just like that. This is how it looks now. It looks very trippy. So how to smooth this out? Basically, you're going to go down 20% on the opacity from each text. So this is going to be 100%, 80, 60, 40, 20. So here, set the opacity to 80, to 60, to 40, to 20. So now it's going to look something like this. It's basically going to fade out. Just like that, looks clean. Now we're going to adjust some scales here. So we're going to start with the text two here. We're going to set the scale at 90% uh, in the beginning, and then go to five seconds and set it at 95. Just so we get a little animation here, it moves. We're going to set this one to 85%, keyframe it, go to the ending, set it at 90. Next one, set the scale at 80%, keyframe, Go to the ending, set it at 85. And the last text, set it at 75% on the scale. Keyframe it in the beginning, go to the ending, set it at 80%. So now our text animation looks like this here. Looks very clean. Now we're going to pre-compose all of these layers here. So we mark them, right click, pre-compose, name it text. And then we are going to uh, make this layer invisible here because we're going to focus on a texture layer now. So you're going to uh, press new, make a solid layer. And here you're going to be adding fractal noise. And you're going to set the fractal type to dynamic twist. Increase the contrast to 200. And then after that you're going to be holding alt uh, on your keyboard and then pressing the clock here on evolution. So get this expression uh, tab up. And then you're going to type time, star key, 250. So this is how it looks. Moves pretty fast. After that, you're going to be adding Colorama. Here we go to Output Cycle. Choose the preset here. Choose Fire. Something like that. It should look good. And after that, you're going to be adding the... You can actually go back to your text animation and copy your CC lens eff uh, effect you added to that. And copy this to the uh, texture layer here. And you can increase the scale here a little bit. So it fits the whole screen just like that. So this is how your texture looks like. Pretty clean, just like a 
fire and then you're going to press toggle switches and modes to come here and you're going to go to this track mat here and press alpha mat on text animation so it's going to just appear on the outlined text here so it looks pretty good then we're going to make a adjustment layer so Control alt y and here we're going to be adding dissolve luma this is just for the ending transition here so you're going to go to three seconds you can make a marker there press the dissolve percentage here the clock there go to the ending set it at 100 percent so this is how it's going to fade out basically and now for the glow so we're going to make a new adjustment layer Control alt y and here we're going to be adding and here we're going to be adding sapphire rays be adding deep glow to this nice i adjusted some settings here i increased the rays brightness to 5 and the exposure to 2 and the radius to 250 so that should be good now we get a text like this here looks pretty pretty clean and after that you can pre-compose all of the layers here and then here you can add rsmb if you want it to be a little bit more cleaner so this is how it looks in the ending i think it looks pretty pretty clean and if you guys you know enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe and if you guys have any new ideas and tutorials i can make please comment that down below don't forget to check out my uh, socials check out my website join my discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day